David Mins from G4 Guitar in Lake Forest uh, and these videos are specifically for the parents of young students so young students are those that are aged from three years through to seven maybe eight years old so they're specifically designed for the parents so that you can help your child when they come home with their practice during the first five weeks for the introduction course and beyond so you can understand the process that we're going to be taking so after lesson number one what can we expect um, with the practice, it's really best that you try and first cultivate an environment where your child wants to pick up the guitar for a few minutes a day. Really just have fun. Um, have fun, make some noise, pick the strings, and uh, be excited about it. Maybe turn it into a game. Um, I know some parents that play hide the guitars, for example, uh, works really well. Um, once you get into the zone, so to speak, where your child can sit down with the guitar uh, and concentrate for a few minutes, then I would suggest you take this approach. As you saw in the lessons, we want to try and have the guitar um, balanced on the leg here. So if I'm, a, if I'm strumming with my right hand, if I'm a right-handed player, I want my guitar seated on the top of my left leg. Uh, we also want to sit back in a chair, so we're sitting right back in a chair so we can sit upright. And you may want to put a cushion or two between your child's back and the chair so they can actually get a really good posture and feel comfortable. Um, the first couple of things we looked at in the lesson was to talk about the strings of the guitar. So the strings of the guitar, we have six of them, and they're numbered one through six, and they start with the string that's furthest away from you, the one nearest the floor. One nearest the floor. That's string number one, and sequentially one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you can have your child repeat back to you or play with him, play with them to point and touch their fingers on string number one, string number two, three, four, five, six, etc. If they're getting that, then maybe mix it up a little bit. Say, uh, hey, little Johnny, could you uh, touch your touch your uh, your finger to string number two, string number four, string number three, string number five. Okay, make it into a game type thing and have them enjoy that. The other thing we looked at was how to hold in our, in our left, in our right hand, sorry, the strumming hand, um, where to hold the pick or the plectrum. And we hold the pick really between the index finger and the thumb. And what we're looking to do in the first couple of weeks, because we're still going to be forming muscle skills and motor skills for the near future because this is brand new to your child and you that have never done this before so these are brand new skills we're going to be acquiring so we hold the pick between the thing between the thumb and the index finger okay like the, like so okay and what we're really trying to do with the child is get them to pick number one string and just to be able to get the pick to go across the string and make a noise, okay? If we can, we'd like them to try and rest this hand somewhere on the guitar, okay? So it has a point of reference, and we're gonna pick through it. Now, if we can do that, and also have them count one, two, three, four. So they would pick one, two, three, four, okay? and have them do that a couple of times, you know, th uh, two, three, four times, uh, however long they can stay engaged for, that would be great, okay? Just make a noise, three, four, that's awesome, okay? We also looked in the first lesson on our other hand, the left hand or the right hand, depending on which guitar player you're on, whether you're a left or right-handed player, the hand that's gonna be on this end of the guitar, touching the strings, and we looked at how to number our fingers. So what we did, is we number with your child we worked on numbering our index finger finger number one middle finger finger number two ring finger finger number three and the little finger finger number four okay and this is in the book which you'll find as well we then sort of play with them to say okay okay touch your thumb to finger number one finger number two number three number four and you can mix it up so touch your thumb to finger number two number four number one number two number four, number three, etc. Again, making it fun, trying, trying to uh, cultivate like a game-like um, session with them. 
Now, the last thing we looked at was, if we can, we're looking to get them to understand that on the guitar we have these spaces. On this is called the neck of the guitar, okay? And we have these spaces, okay, which are technically called frets, but we can refer to them at the moment as really space number one, space number two, and space number three. And what we're trying to have them understand is where our finger number one, which would be our index finger, the home for finger number one is on space number one, okay? Space number one. If we can get them to point it and put it onto fret number one of space number one of number one string, that would be even better, okay? But there's a lot of dexterity involved in this. So finger number one, the index finger, lives in space number one. Finger number two lives in space number two. Number three lives in space number three. So if we can get that concept as well just started, that would be a really good place to go. Um, please take it slowly. Um, look for those moments when your child is engaged and you can really, you know, we can really sit down with them and go through the things. It may not last long, a few minutes, but if we just get those pieces, those are moments identified, that's where we really make the progress, okay? Uh, again, take it very slowly. If you have any questions during the week about anything, please call me or email me, that's fine. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next week's lesson. Thanks so much, bye-bye.